Welcome back to The Ed Show. This is a story about two Americas. Two Americas are ripping the country apart. We're seeing the division as the Duck Dynasty scandal unfolds. One portion of America looks at Phil Robertson with disgust. People can't believe Robertson can show his face in the sunlight after spewing out hateful remarks about gay people and minorities in this country. Now, the other side of America holds Robertson's warped ideals closer. His values are their values because they are scared of the other side. The hate and bigotry disguised as traditional values are being diminished by the other America, a progressive America. And I think they're afraid of that. a and &E Networks made a business decision and lifted Phil Robertson's suspension, offering up a lame public service announcement as atonement. The network issued a statement saying that they will launch a campaign promoting unity, tolerance, and acceptance among all people, a message which supports the core values of the company and the values found in Duck Dynasty. Well, for A&E, values apparently don't matter. The almighty sure as hell does. The dollar matters. Standing strong against bigotry has a price for A&E Networks. They made a calculation is what they did. African Americans and gay people, well, they probably don't matter but to that network because they don't watch that show. So where's the harm? Duck Dynasty, it's niche programming for those who think alike. And there is no downside for letting bigotry run part of their entertainment. It is really a cultural call that has been made by A&E. And I think it's one that could haunt them for a long time to come. They are now a marked network. They'll do anything for a dollar. Joining me now, Rapid Response Panel, Dr. Michael Eric Dyson with us tonight, Georgetown University professor and MSNBC political analyst. And also with us tonight, Mike Papantonio, Ring of Fire radio host. Gentlemen, great to have you with us tonight. Michael, you first. You. What is A&E Network? What are they saying here? What statement are they making by reversing this dis decision? Well, as you brilliantly articulated, Ed, what they're saying is that black people and gay people don't count. They don't matter to the bottom line. They don't figure in our calculations about what we think is offensive. And as a result of the Cracker Barrel crowd, that crowd that said, look, we are disgusted with you for removing the items of uh, Phil Robertson and Duck Dynasty. We are, f uh, f moreover, disgusted with the fact that African American and Latino and other uh, ethnic minorities, along with gay, lesbian, transgender, and bisexual people, have come together to say this is an outrage and as a result of that they have turned this into a matter of free speech. The irony of course is that they don't want more speech to counteract their negative, vicious, offensive and uh, vitriolic speech. So they're mad at the fact that we are challenging uh, what they're saying and then we don't have the right to free speech. A&E has made the calculation that African American people and gay people don't matter not only to their bottom line but won't raise as hard a ruckus as the right wing will and those who are very supportive of the Duck Dynasty dynasty are the very people who need that insight. And by the way, Ed, what's interesting, the right wing has said, look, the grandson of Mr. Robertson happens to be an adopted biracial child. What difference does that make? The man who plunged a plunger deep into the behind of Abner Louima was himself dating a black woman when he did that heinous act. So there's no one-to-one -one correlation between a particular domestic intimacy with a black person or a person of color and the, the, the behavior that you manifest that is either just or unjust. So yeah. all of this stuff is being brought up as a result of this. 